Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Today, I think we are doing a run as Samson. It's one of the characters we haven't played yet on this save file. Let's give it a go. Samson's gimmick is that when he takes damage, everyone else, uh, his, like whenever he takes damage on a floor, his damage goes up for the remainder of the floor. So it's kind of a useful little thing. You can, you know, it's like you hurt me only, but I only get stronger. So we'll see if we can kind of, uh, you know, make something useful out of this run. And his base stats are like fairly okay. They're just average. But there we go. We took a little damage. So you can see his damage went from 3.5 to 4. And that will go away when the floor is over. But, careful. We don't necessarily want to take unnecessary damage. Like that. Uh, <laughs> but if we do take damage, it's not the end of the world. Uh, Onk, I think lets us come back as Blue Baby? Or something like that? If we die, like you can come back to life. But you come back as Blue Baby that can only get Spirit Hearts and isn't nearly as good? I don't know. It's not an amazing item, but it's fine. Uh, let's go get this half red heart. Like so. And then we'll pop into the self-sacrifice room over here, just in case there was a heart on the ground in there, because sometimes there is. But there was not, so... Instead... Take these guys out. I would love to get a bomb so I can get that. And we're just going to get keys. And we didn't get five cents either. I was really hoping we'd get either a bomb or five cents. Because one really good way to make... Uh, to have a good run with... Um, with Samson is to get your hands on uh, an arcade. Which involves having five cents to start the floor. However, we did get latch key, which gave us a couple spirit hearts. So hopefully next floor we'll be able to... Uh, you know, make a little bit of a better uh, start. Because this floor was pretty underwhelming, if I'm being honest. Two items that are both mid-tier at best. Ankh, I'm not really a huge fan of. Like, it, it exists. It's okay. But, like, I don't want to come back as somebody else. I want to come back as me. And also, I'd rather just not die in the first place by being really strong. There we go. Now, we don't want to take damage here and waste our hearts. Okay, this... This is not great. Um... We have no bombs. We have we do have keys. So I suppose we could have made it to the item room there. We'll go back in a little bit. There we go. Okay, they'll pop up over here. Let me get into the item room. What do we got? Common cold. Shots occasionally deal poison damage. Eh? Is a very minor DPS increase. But not much. Like, it's pretty low tier. The items that we're getting right now are not great. They're okay. You know, the common cold's like, it's fine. Damage is damage, even if it's just, like, supplemental damage that barely adds up. It still does ultimately add up, at least to a degree. There's a bomb, finally. So we can pop up here and blow up that tinted rock I saw. Although, actually, what we should probably do is put our bomb here instead. Because then we're essentially trading a bomb for a bomb, a key, and a heart. And then we can use that bomb to blow up the Tinted Rock. So we basically turned a bomb into 
two spirit hearts, a key, and a penny, and a regular heart as well. So much better value. Gets us up to five cents. Ooh, I would like another bomb to get those as well. That's a fair amount of money. That would get us up to 14 cents, which would be very nice. Ow. Took damage there that I probably shouldn't have, but it's fine. All right, fight Larry Jr. Some poison would be very helpful. Poison would go a long way here if we could actually get some poison shots on him. The problem with Common Cold is that not every shot deals poison damage. If every shot dealed poison damage, then it would be infinitely better. But the fact that it's only a couple of shots here and there, and it's like random chance. Eh. All right, so we got Cracker Jacks, which I believe is HP upgrade and a trinket. Yeah, HP upgrade and a little bit of a trinket. And then our deal has Ghost Baby. Or not Ghost Baby. Uh, I forget what the name of that item is. But basically, it's a familiar that, like, when you shoot through it, it shoots. It, your shots get, like, bigger and go farther. It's okay. It's not amazing. Um, you know what? Sure. We'll do this. That's a decent amount of money. Ow! That was bad damage. Please. There we go. Was that the first wave? I feel like that may have actually been the first wave. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Okay. Well, still no bombs, but we got some money and we got a key. So basically all it cost us was a couple of fights. Not too bad. I mean, it's, we're good on keys forever. Carefully, there we go. Managed to get ourselves a bomb. Um, you gotta be real careful weaving in and out of the spikes. Take your time, though. And it's not that hard to do. You just gotta take your time. Make sure you line it up right. Okay. See what's in this chest. More bombs and keys and things. This is just a regular floor, right? Yep. That's a tinted rock, though. Uh, I was kind of hoping for a spirit heart, not gonna lie. But whatever. We got our bomb back, ultimately. I mean, we found our boss. Haven't found our item room or our shop, but we did find our boss. What do we need to unlock Kane? Was it 55 cents? Let's see what that is. Shot, Shot speed down. down. Not great. All right, Pestilence, we will fight. He'll drop a cube of meat or a ball of bandages. So we'll get an orbital out of it, which is like, okay. Orbitals are not nearly as good as they once were in Afterbirth Plus. I will definitely say that. They're a lot harder to use now as offensive items, which was kind of the whole reason that I took them. The defensive stuff, I'd rather just dodge. Whenever possible, but being able to deal a bunch of uh, damage with them, yeah, definitely useful. But then they got nerfed in uh, Repentance, and they're not nearly as good now. Which in some ways is probably fine. Maybe they were a little bit too strong. But at the same time, like, I feel like to use orbitals effectively as an offensive weapon, you had to, there was like a relatively high skill cap, right? Like, you had to be a decent player. You had to be, like, good at dodging and stuff like that. You couldn't just, like, YOLO it. Prayer card. Okay. That's fine. Let's go back and find our item room. And hopefully our shop as well. 
Because now, the orbital rotates so quickly, and it does less damage as well. I mean, maybe it's just going to take me some getting used to. You know, maybe it is just going to... Maybe I'm just going to have to get used to the new speed, but, like... Orbitals used to be top tier, in my opinion, or at least mostly top tier. Not like necessarily game winner by themselves, but like run saver occasionally. Like if you're having a really bad run and you're, you, you know, you're, you're like six floors in, you have yet to get a DPS upgrade of any kind. You're real happy to see an orbital or, you know, we could just like let all of our health just go to waste by getting killed by wimpy little guys. All right, please give me something useful in here. What is this? Boiled baby. Messy friend. I have no idea what this item does. What do we got in the shop? The boomerang? I'll take the money. You know what I think we should do? Since we have a character we need to unlock by accumulating 55 cents on a single run, I think we're just gonna try we're gonna go for that. Rather than spending our money right now, let's uh let's try and get the money that we need to unlock uh, I think it was Kane. Let's do that. And you know what? We might as well pop in here and check this out too. Maybe we'll find something good. Or maybe we'll just find troll bombs and spiders, you know? What did I say? Ah! <laughs> uh... Grab that. Uh, yep, yeah, this is the way to the next floor. And away we go. Uh, I do want to check here for a secret room real quick, though. Nope, not it. One other place I want to check. There it is. Oh, interesting. Well. Alright. Don't take any more damage until we go back and heal. Uh, let's blow you up real quick. But there are enough red hearts spread out all over the floor that we can leverage this and maybe unlock that character immediately. And then we'll have accomplished at least something on the run, no matter what happens. We just gotta be a little careful. And the thing is, one of the best items in the entire game, as Samson, is the IV bag, which you can get from... Uh, playing the blood banks like that. So we're going to try it. Why not? You know? We got a couple more plays now. We're just going to have to be real careful when we go down to the next floor that uh, we don't get punished for it. And if we do get punished for it, then we get punished for it. Then it's my own fault, you know? These things happen. Nope, that's as good as we're going to get. Pity. Uh, all right, let's blow it up. Get a heart back. And now we're out. But we're only two cents away from unlocking a character. So we will almost certainly be able to unlock Kane here. I'd be very surprised if we don't. We only need two cents. I mean, basically the only thing, we, would, we just need to not die. And we can do it right here. Just kidding. One more. Don't die. Hey! IV bag. Okay. So. Now we have money. And we want to take IV bag. Wait, did we actually unlock the character? I don't know that we did. Let's, let's not... We'll go back for IV, uh, IV bag momentarily. Careful. So I guess what this 
this familiar does is when you take damage... All right, let's grab Ivy Bag here. Uh, when you take damage, or when it's near an enemy, it spouts out, like, shots all over the place in random directions and stuff, which is, you know, pretty okay. Ooh, careful. Careful. Okay. Careful. We're <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to take damage here. Because we have no... Uh, we got no... Ah, well... We have no wiggle room. But it's fine. Uh, I will spawn the bomb here so we can recover two hearts. I think that's worth it. Our damage now is in good shape, though. We got eight damage right now. Which, for this point in the game, is pretty good. And that should be a new character. There we go. We've unlocked Kane. Lovely. Kane is, uh, honestly really good. Maybe... I think there's a case to be made that Kane is now the best character in, uh, Repentance. Because back in Flash Isaac, way back in the day, Kane started with an item called the Luckfoot. And the luck foot gave you a luck upgrade, and then it also made all pills good. So it was like having a PhD right off the bat. And then on top of that, he has slightly higher than normal damage and some other things. Then Rebirth came, and they nerfed luck foot, so it no longer gave um, better pills. Well, in Repentance, luck foot gives better pills again. So Kane gets better pills, has higher than normal damage, and also his starting trinket allows him to open golden chests for free? Kamikaze, you can blow yourself up and deal damage to yourself. Not a great item unless you have a very specific synergy to go with it. So, yeah, not, uh, let's not do that. Uh, backpack's pretty good though. We'll take this and then let's donate some money to the uh, donation machine. Now that we've unlocked Kane. There we go, black candle, great item. Was this? Experimental Luck up, go. shot speed down, that's fine. Shot speed's a pretty useless stat anyway, for the most part. All right, let's go fight the boss, we got peep. What I really need is like a tears upgrade. I need a rate of fire increase badly. Careful. Let's pop over here instead. Careful. I feel like the pilot in Star Wars going, stay on target. Stay on target. And then, hey, look at that. Asking you shall receive. Rate of fire increase. Very nice. All right, down to the next floor. <clears throat> Let's go. What do we got? Oh, yeah, that's right. Our damage is still terrible until we use IV bag. So basically, whenever red hearts drop on the ground, we're going to use the IV bag to uh, boost our damage. It may actually be worth it to use IV bag now and have the higher damage. Because right now, our damage is, like, hilariously bad. We're still at base damage, and we're on floor five. <laughs> Have yet to get a single damage upgrade. Wow! So bad. Okay. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll play the IV bag a couple times here to give us at least a little bit of damage to work with. Couple more. There we go. There. Now we can actually hurt things. We are essentially doing almost double the damage we were doing before. By giving up two hearts in exchange for coins. See, like, that's the thing with Samson. Samson, being successful with Samson is all about finding a way to hurt yourself in a way that's still helping you. 
like doing something benefit like rather than just hurting yourself by taking damage from enemies or like walking to spikes or something like that you're basically looking for a good way that can hurt where you can hurt yourself but you're actually still gaining a benefit from it such as an iv bag for example which gives you money or a demon judgment or you know any number of different things like that okay we did unfortunately get hurt so our deal chances are pretty bad super envy this is a mini boss that will break into smaller pieces the trick to envy and any other boss or or mini boss like it that splits into smaller versions of itself and just bounces around the room the trick is to deal with little chunks of it at a time don't just shoot willy-nilly focus down one little chunk and then focus down the next chunk etc etc so that you don't end up with like 30 different super enemies around we're gonna do this that was uh not a good decision i should not have done that but we did it anyway you know it's like the magic school bus take chances make mistakes what is the pattern for these spikes it, it took me a little while to see it i still don't know if i actually learned it but uh we made it through the room <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> let's, let's not go that way. It's like, no matter what way you gotta go, you gotta get within a couple spaces of... Ah. Oh, that's right, I've got the Ankh. Now I'm Blue Baby. But I think that means I don't actually have my damage upgrades. Any, my, I, I don't actually have... Do I have Samson's uh, damage mechanic now or has that been taken from me i honestly don't know i guess we'll find out let's check the shop all right we got jumper cables which is a great item if you have a space bar item that relies on a charge which admittedly iv bag is not spirit hearts please nothing I know they nerfed the chance of those dropping spirit hearts into the ground. It's now like a 10% chance. But still, when you blow up six of them, you were hoping at least one of them would drop a spirit heart. But did it happen? Nope. So I guess now we're just hoping for a good deal with the angel. And the odds of that actually happening are pretty unlikely. Because I don't think we're going to get a deal here. It is possible, but it's only a 18% chance. Yeah, don't get hit by that. If we get hit in this room, it goes down even more. Yeah, we don't have the luck. Shot speed, I mean... <sighs> Rate of fire increase is still good. Tears upgrade is still good. It's still a DPS upgrease. Uh, it's still a DPS increase. But what I really need is base damage. Our base damage is super bad right now. All right, time to learn if we're still Samson. If I hurt myself, okay, my damage does still go up, but we can't really do anything at the moment. We can't afford to just give away any more HP. Don't drop on top of me. There we go. He's dead. All right. Let's check these. We don't have any red hearts. Let's go this way. Got gotcha. Spikes over there. Hey! Rude. Here. Have a bomb. Have another. There we go. I'm going to try and stay on this side of the spikes and kill him from over here, but that's easier said than done. Because my range only extends so far. But I don't particularly want to go over there and deal with all these little guys that he's summoning. Well, I'm also trying to deal with him. There's just, like, not enough space over there to really dodge effectively. Now we could probably go. 
Oh, he stepped on the spikes. Rip. Well, we tried. Guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.